Everybody just back with another video. I just wanted to, I saw this video on Twitter, uh, Benny Johnson reposted it, but it's essentially uh, exposing Stormy Daniels lying in court about what happened with Trump. And it's actually Bill Maher who's calling her out. So let's have a look and then we'll talk about it a little bit like, uh, a little bit after like usual. First of all, I didn't want any part of that because it's not the truth and I'm not a victim in that regard. That's not what she's saying now. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me start this from about, he was bigger and sorry. Let me start this from the beginning here. And first, I asked her why she had sex with Trump. Listen to that, and then listen to what she says after that, and then we're going to talk about the trial because it's quite a variance of what she said to me in 2018. Why did you f Donald Trump? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, but you say it's not a Me Too case. It is not a Me Too case. I mean, I wasn't uh, assaulted. I wasn't attacked or raped or coerced or blackmailed. They tried to shove me in the Me Too box to further right. their own agenda. And first of all, I didn't want any part of that because it's not the truth and I'm not a victim in that regard. That's not what she's saying now. Uh, she's talking about he was bigger and blocking the way. It's all the, the Me Too buzzwords. She said uh, there was a power imbalance of power for sure. My hands were shaking so hard. She said she blacked out. Blacked out? She's a porn star. She's, I don't think sex... That doesn't, that doesn't mean she's been subjected to the likes of Donald Trump. Uh, I, might, I might black out too. Do you really think she... Do you have any plans on having sex with Donald Trump? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, put yourself in the shoes of a porn star, buddy. Right. Anyway, I don't know who that guy is, but that's, that's interesting, right? I mean, even Bill Maher, who hates Donald Trump with a passion, is like, wait a minute, is this, like, what is this trial really about? What it's really about is the hush money. He basically paid her to be quiet about it because he didn't want his wife finding out. Which, again, I, I'm not saying that's a good move. It's a piece of shit move. Like, personally-wise, he's probably not the greatest guy. That being said, they're trying to throw him in jail for doing something like this, didn't Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bill Clinton do this, like, on a daily basis? Not to mention the countless other celebrities who have done this. But they're only going after one guy. But no, don't worry, liberals. That's not suspicious at all. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, some people just have these have these Trump-hater blinders on, and they, they, they just think that everything that they're going after him for is... It's, it's due, and it's justice, and he really did all these horrible things, and he's the only one who did it, not all these other guys. And this is why, like, it sucks having to, to defend Donald Trump. I don't want to defend him. I don't hate him as much as some people do, but I don't want to spend any time defending this guy. I'm sure Bill Maher doesn't either. But then when you see things like this where Stormy Daniels came out and said, I am not a victim. If the victim says she's not a victim, what's the case for because they're trying to go after him to put him in jail so that he can't whoop Joe Biden's ass, which is what looks like it's about to happen. And again, here I am, a person who's in the middle, more le uh, more of a like a left leaning libertarian, I guess, is the best way for to describe my politics. And I don't have anything to do with Donald Trump. Yeah, if it's him versus Biden, I'll pick Trump, but I'm picking Robert Kennedy because he's the better option because he's the only option. It was the only real option anyway, but doing things like this is just driving people right into Trump's arms. There's also going to be people who align politically with me who see things like this and they think, well, Kennedy doesn't have a chance. I'm not going to vote for Kennedy and then let Joe Biden win or let the DNC and the DOJ and the CIA and the MIC. If you vote for Joe Biden, that's who you're voting for. Where if you're Trump, it's like, well, at least... He's called out the military industrial complex and didn't start any, any new wars. Yeah, it's a piece of shit move to cheat on your wife. I, spe I mean, if you've seen his wife, I mean, one of the one of the most attractive women ever. And he cheats on her with a dirt bag. I mean, that's that, that's a piece of shit move. But it's not illegal to cheat on your spouse. So what are you trying to put him in jail for? For political reasons. So what it's all about. I mean, we've all probably known this since the since the indictments came out, but I mean, they're just falling apart. The trial, I believe, now has been suspended indefinitely. 
which means even if it happens, it's likely that it's not going to be until after the election. It, if Trump somehow wins and then gets to Inauguration Day, he's just going to pardon himself even if he's charged. Just drop the charges, drop the indictments, stop going after this guy, and start putting forth some good policies that people want to vote for you again, Democrats. Stop kicking good candidates or driving good candidates out of your party, Democrats, Tulsi Gabbard, Robert Kennedy Jr. If you run Tulsi Gabbard in 2016, she beats Trump easy. Well, no, she's not that popular. If she was the head of the ticket of the de of, for, for the Democrats in the election, they would have pushed her so hard and they would have propped her up on all kinds of media and they would have been singing her praises. We're going to have the first female president and they would have been right. A lot of people think that Hillary Clinton lost because of sexism. No. Because just um, the um, uh, barely, I mean, if you look at the popular vote, Hillary Clinton won. She lost the electoral, but she wasn't that far away from winning. A few states swing in her way, she wins. So it's not like no Americans wanted a female president or that America wasn't ready for a female president. They just didn't want that female. That would not have been the same if it was Tulsi Gabbard because she would, she is a strong, independent, attractive, fierce woman who has military experience. Yeah, there'd be, there'd be some people who wouldn't vote for her because she's a woman. But not enough to keep her from beating Trump. And then if RFK Jr. was the head of the ticket for the Democrats right now, he'd be winning a landslide. Mainstream media pushing him, saying, hey, this guy's talking about corruption and BlackRock and Wall Street and you know, all these things that are you know tearing down the middle class, and he wants to rebuild it and restore America. Versus Trump, it's not even close. But that's what the Democrats want. They don't want good candidates. They want establishment candidates that are continuing to ruin people's lives, especially if you're in the middle class. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back shortly. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps this channel. Take care, and I'll see you.